this is day one of the trail. We're on the Pinkerton Trail, which is on the southwest corner of the park. And it works its way into the Lakeshore Trail. And our first campsite is going to be about, eh, probably from here, maybe another three, no, four miles. But I can't get over how beautiful this is. This is worth the trip. This is like some Lord of the Rings shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I like these There's some Skittles right there. <laughs> I got okay. Skittles every day. Reese's Pieces. Wasn't that what E.T. had? Some Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. Right on. <laughs> Man, look at those woodpecker holes on this tree. Oh, wow, yeah. Those are some big guys. Say that again, Mark. A rib cage of a stegosaurus? Oh man, you're right. Woof. Probably died because of all the mosquitoes out here. Probably, yeah. Because they're killing me. <laughs> Should have put on some bug spray before we left. I know, right? Ah, damn it. Shit, man. These mosquitoes are getting me, dude. So there's always a trade off to places of beauty like this. And here, it's the mosquitoes. As soon as we got out of the car, I started hiking under the trees. I got attacked. So 100% deed is the way to go. I can see why they put these boards in. Yeah. It gets wild back here. They probably would have a hard time maintaining the trail with how quickly all this stuff grows. Yeah, it could have been raining on us. Yeah. Perfect temperature too. Not too hot. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to sleeping by the lake, dude. That's gonna be so cool. Yeah. Get a fire going. Yeah, I was just thinking, I can't believe uh this is the same pack I took in the Rockies when I was 13. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. I'm like, dude, imagine you just a 13-year-old carrying this. Probably not <laughs> full, but... Are you 26 now? Yeah. And you carried that when you were 13? 13, yeah. Man. So the pack's, what? 13 years old. Yeah. Damn. It's held up pretty good. It's, I... just, it's just kind of like a travel bag for me, you know? Yeah. You probably have to use it to hike. Shoot, well... I plan on keeping mine for as long as it lasts. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's a, it's say, a good bag. Like, we're gonna have to do this once a year. At least. Yeah, one day it's gonna break on somebody and they're gonna be salty. <laughs> Just think of uh, what's smoking with the wood. Ooh, the <laughs> My backpack's too heavy to do what you just did. All right, kids. Think <laughs> about what Smokey the Bear would say. Don't do drugs. Yeah, right. Words to live by, huh? I live the Smokey lifestyle. Oh yeah, we know. No, that's another Stegosaurus rib cage. Oh shoot, it's Stegosaurus? You're, you're gonna want to look at the vertebrae and see how they're all equidistant to the uh, the ribs. Wow, almost looks like wood. Yeah, it's crazy how the how time really takes a test on the uh, on the bone. Boy, good thing we have you here. Yep. <laughs> Call me Alan Grant. Alan Grant, everybody. <laughs> Alan Grant. Also, just for the tourists out here, watch out because there are the Blue Ninja Clan are uh, rampant in these woods. There's one now. Did you hear that? I heard that. We better get going. We gotta get moving, guys. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. More blue ninjas. Blue ninjas. 
<laughs> Mark, stay with the group, man. There's blue ninjas around. Oh, God, they're close. They're getting closer, guys. Oh, 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 dude. Yeah, this is the thing that I thought was a, uh, the opposite of a tributary, but it looks like it is a tributary. Because oh, the lake's that way, right? No, well, I think it's right on the other side of these trees. Mm -hmm. Right so down I mean, there. It's adding to the lake, which is Man. weird because it comes from the south. This is. <laughs> All right. Getting out of your hands. Is he biting you? No, I just don't want to get it. Damn. You gonna get on your thing? Well, snike. He's scared. I should let him go. Yeah, yeah. let him go. Don't want to hurt him. It's cool though. Gabby hates snakes. <laughs> yep. Yep, I told you that. <laughs> Yes, she did. Poor Gabby. Poor Gabby. Now kids, don't steal signs. That's why we gotta have barbed wire on here. It's dangerous out here. Chicago. Aside from the blue ninjas. Am I right? Don't bring that up. We don't talk about the blue ninjas. <laughs> that was a. Uh... Hey, did you guys hear that? I did hear that. What was that? That wasn't blue ninja, was it? You can only imagine that it was a uh, bird. Ah, yes, a bird. It might, have been, it might have been a deer. Oh, I knew. I, knew, I thought I've heard deer make that noise before. Yeah. You're right. Jeez. Like I said, Alan, what would we do without you? Oh no, I'm sorry, what was your other name? Not Cracker. Cornbread! Cornbread! That was close. Cracker. Cornbread, everybody. Now what we... Slide the whole thing on my butt? Yeah. All the way down? Make sure you go over those uh, posts, too. We'll probably just go in. There's so much that needs to be edited out of this. <laughs> oh, there it is. We I made it. We might have turned the light, guy. Dang. Oh, 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 there's a fish laying low right there. There's a what? Oh, there's a few of them. You said there's six. Oh, I'm sure, man. Right there. Yep. What are they? Carp? To oh, I see them all. Where are Hold they? on, let me see if I can get my other phone no, out. They might be camera. Mm. I don't know if the camera's gonna we'll pick have that to up. keep our eyes open for something like that. Is there a way to put your pole more near to the outside? Yeah. Oh, I think it's picking it up. Yeah, there's like seven or eight fish just chilling right yeah. there. <laughs> And there's the lake. Beautiful, beautiful.
started hiking parallel to the lake. Lake Superior is right there. I've already seen a couple of campsites and it looks beautiful. You can already hear the waves against the shore and that's what we're going to fall asleep to tonight. Looking forward to it. Got a little cabin. I kind of want to take a look at it real quick. Oh, really? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I didn't know there was anyone in there. <laughs> First people of the day. Trevi, Colonel B. Colonel B. Colonel B. Sunset over the lake. This was a success. Night one, day one was a success. Day one, night one. Fire's burning. Actually, no, we can only say day one. We can't speak for night yet. We no, exactly. Fun. Got the food. Got the fire. Got Trevor. Wouldn't be a trip without Trevor. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> dinner. Made a nice six and a half hour drive up here. Went smoothly. It rained the whole way out here. And then we hiked a good five miles. It was pretty rough hiking. But when we got here, the reward was very much worth it. Just ate some brats. Had a a little bit of whiskey, some moonshine, I call it a night, and enjoy. So Trevor, yes. what are your thoughts about today? It was amazing. I enjoyed the hike a lot. You did? I did. What about the drive? The drive was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't bad, right? It wasn't bad. It wasn't yeah. bad at all. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely Absolutely. Away from suburbia. <laughs> that is the goal, man. That is the goal. Oh, look at that. A mini river. Oh, it feeds right into the Superior. So where their trails start tomorrow? Uh, well, basically, we hike up this uh, ungodly large hill. We hike back up the hill. <laughs> and then, um, or maybe not, actually. I think... Actually, can we go that way? That way, that way looks nice. You want to go that way? You don't want to go back up the hill? <laughs> no. Dude, come on, man. Look at that hill. That's a beautiful hill. That was a nice hill. Oh, look at that. I thought the sound of running water, like a natural waterfall. It's so calming and relaxing. A little river. I heard the birds too, very nice.
How's that six? <laughs> Decent. Yeah? Tasty? You getting your fiber for the day? Nutrients. All right. Perfect. Should just eat one of those sticks. Nutrients, old things. I guess. And that, my friends, is how you hang a bear bag from a bear pole. Oh, yeah, I will warn you, it's looking terrible. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, God, dude. I don't know if I want this. You don't. Wait, put some on a spoon? Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Raspberry moonshine. These guys have been fermenting in there for... Colonel B. However long that's been on the shelf, plus it's time shipping. Seems like someone's like buried something here. Why are all these rocks here? That was the guy who got eaten by the bear last year. <laughs> yep, I was not. What do you call this, Trevor? Uh, they are red-headed greaves, I'm pretty sure. Red-headed greaves. Pretty sure. And then over here, we've got our loon. <laughs> oh, you just dove down. Always when they get the camera out. We're on day two of the trail. Woke up, had some oatmeal, coffee, bacon for breakfast. Packed up and hit the trail. We're heading north, or no, east on the Lakeshore Trail. And it's some rough, rocky terrain. We're gonna have some fun, right, Trev? I would have enjoyed that. Some of rocks. Lots of rocks. <laughs> What's that? Normal train. All right. <laughs> Not at all. This is perfect weather. So all you gotta do t-shirt time on. Woo, muddy. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what we've been hiking through. <laughs> I done did too many miles in this terrain, but uh, I never seen nothing like this before, folks. You gotta watch out when you're up here in the north woods. Thanks, Alan. I mean, uh, uh cornbread. Cornbread. <laughs> It's a cool campsite. 
actually let's see uh this would be a good opportunity to get some bearings we're still on the lakeshore trail probably covered a couple of miles by now but this trail is straight mud we're bushwhacking more than we are hiking You all good? good? All good. <laughs> oh, you! I love it. You did like this. He did this like 360 spin to catch himself. My backpack weighed me back, so I fell forward and backwards. I saw, dude. You were doing a dance. You were doing a dance. Well, there's my skill, Matt. There you go. All right, we've all fallen once. <laughs> Shit's just never ending, man. Yeah. yeah. A little wet. Just a little. Oop, I just felt water going to my boot. Oh, did you? Yep. Uh, They're getting saturated. <laughs> yep, he had the right idea. Because <laughs> there's a little trail there. Fuck it, I'm just going to go across this. Oh, there's kind of some rock right here. Step on that. Oh, yep, and my ankle deep in water. I think I have a walking stick. <laughs> Seriously. It helps a lot. Muck. Muck everywhere. Well. <laughs> a never ending sludge. Yeah. Yeah. Looking forward to that dry spot though. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I know. Very beautiful. Absolutely beautiful here. It's kind of a chillier day. We just finished up with our first lunch break, so we've hiked about five miles so far. And uh, the next stop is going to be the Lake of the Clouds. Hopefully, we don't get too tired out first. But the lake is beautiful. The water is super clear. It's a nice and cool day. Perfect for hiking. And uh, we're having a good time. This water is crystal clear. I bet you I could walk all the way out to that rock. What campsite is this again, Mark? What's up? What campsite is this again? Fif 15. 15 and 16. And that's what a muddy hike looks like. So we've been hiking some muddy trail again. And we come out into a clearing that is all just trees broken down. Huh? What is that? What is that? Come on, Mark, put that thing away. Going. Fuck that. This is definitely a good mud run practice. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you got your mud, that's for sure. 
Wow. We got all these trees that just came down. Oh, good and normal trail kind of. <laughs> oh, yellow swallowtail. Look at that. that for a view. Flies are driving me crazy. Definitely starting to get a little tired. This has got to be like mile eight or nine so far of the day. We might go super far, but the train's been rough. It's been very rough, especially with the mud. That kind of made things a little more difficult, but we're making it through. Should be at the site soon. So we went up the mountain, and then we came down the mountain. And now we're walking into some beautiful pine forest. These are some real nice pine woods. Tough terrain, tough terrain, wow. Just coming up the Lake of the Clouds. Had to take a slight detour because of some poor trail planning. However, oh, and also these hills are kicking my ass hardcore. Wow, that's something else, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Whew. Tippy ta, tippy te.
Home stretch, buddy. Keep some eye out for fish. Uh, we go campsite way. Yeah. Okay. We're going to the campsites. If we go that way, it's gonna take us to Mirror Lake. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to do that. No. I ain't trying to hike another four miles. Pretty much just got done with this monster hike. Uh, uh, Here's my tent. Mark, Trevi, fire going. I want to do the bat cave hike. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty interesting. <laughs> it seems like it's only open during um, fall though. It, it said autumn. Yeah. It's when the bats fill that cave. We just got done eating dinner. Tomorrow we're taking a shortcut so we can rest up because we just got our asses kicked. These shortcuts are bad. <laughs> we need to take a. We need to find a shortcut for day three as well, like a teleporter or See, this might be a, this is a good photo up right here. Yeah. This is officially the most badass campsite I've ever been to. Might take a dip in the lake. So yesterday we started up on top of that peak and we walked all the way around. To here. Well, day two was successful, although brutal. This is Lake of the Clouds. Pretty badass campsite. Any thoughts, Alan? Very treacherous trek to get in. But once here, the reward was much greater than the tribulations. The bugs were the worst part. You need to right. understand that in one cubic foot of air you're seeing seven mosquitoes yeah. all around you the giant ones too right you got carried off for a little bit alan right and then they dropped you off at the campsite here thankfully the mosquitoes they can be as large as a bird yeah and four of them picked me up with their beaks inside of me and <laughs> luckily they dropped me here at the site and i was able to start a fire and fend them off with the smoke boy 
You're a true wilderness man, Alan. I've seen too much. <laughs> too much. All right. Well, thank you for that, Alan. Beautiful scenery, Alan. Any words, Trevor? None right now. All right. So I this is we're at <laughs> yeah. Lake of the Clouds, Campsite 4. So we're going to hike back out that way, and we're going to make our way to the Mirror Trail heading south. Which, I believe if we just head the junctions right at the end there. Yeah, it is. If we just take that all the way south until we get to Government Peak Trail. Trail? It's right about over there. Because we passed that, those people's campsite over there. As soon as we started heading left, there and was... a little bit after there was a junction. There was a sign that said, like, campsite trail this way and then mirror trail no, no, going that way. Yeah, North Mirror Lake Trail. So we'll get there, get to the campsites, cut over find the junction and then uh we're heading that way got it good shit let's go So here's Matt's update for you. The guys have been running up ahead this entire hike today because my feet are shot. Uh, the whole bottoms of both my feet are just blisters and uh, it makes it really hard to take a hard step. And I've also discovered how bad I am at handling uphill hikes. Or hikes. Um, so that goes to show I gotta get back in shape. But regardless of that, I'm having fun. So what we're doing today, we actually um, changed the course a little bit. Because yesterday we found out that our trail that we were on doesn't connect to another one. So when we saw the map that was posted on the trail, there's a clear difference that showed that we had an extra three and a half miles to hike. So, on top of our 10 that we were doing for the day. So, not only was it extra three miles, but it was straight uphill the whole time. Uh, and you, you saw the, the videos and the pictures last night from when we were up above Lake of the Clouds. We hiked straight uphill in about a mile. And it was it was brutal. So I'm pretty, pretty sore today. There's a different trail that's kind of a shortcut between um, Lake of the Clouds and Mirror Lake, which we're going to today. So we're taking that because it's cutting our hike in half. Um, 
just because we got our asses kicked and we can't keep up. So, but pretty soon we'll be at Mirror Lake and uh, I'll have some, we're gonna have a nice, fun, relaxing night. I'm gonna get our strength back and get ready for tomorrow's trek. So, I'll see you guys at the campsite. It sounds like bullfrog. Beautiful. Finally, some flat ground. Oh, this is rickety. I think uh, the guy with an M. Merrick? Merrick finally summons. Like the evil Mer or Yami Merrick or whatever they called it? No, his uh, his Egyptian guy card because there's Scyther. Oh. Scyther the Scyther. Just want to show you guys Mirror Lake before we head out. I haven't done a lot of filming yesterday because I was so tired and beat up. But today I'm a little better energy. Try to get some good shots of stuff on the trail. But I just didn't feel like filming around camp. I went straight to sleep for a while and woke up and ate dinner, went right back to sleep. But it's beautiful out here. I've heard some loons. Kingfishers. It's beautiful out here. Clear water. Just ran all that through the filter for cooking and drinking, and we're gonna hit the trail. We got about 10 miles to do today. So, very peaceful. Big carp trail, big carp river trail. And we're there. Say that again. Alrighty. <laughs> um, so it looks like uh, we're going to head north a little bit. Um, from there we're going to take a left on the Correction Line Trail. Uh, we'll be going for about three miles. At that point we'll hit uh, Carp River Trail. Take another left and that'll take us nearly to where we need to be. Yeah. And we'll just have to trek over to site number two. Sounds good. Alright. So which way do we go? No! <laughs> All right, let's go.
I just had a feeling. I'd rather be warm than have be covered in mosquitoes. Oh man, that's steep as hell. It's a beautiful little river. You really got some nice views on this trip. Oh, here goes nothing with blisters on my feet. Ah, that feels good. Oh, man. I don't know if I can do this with my boots off. Ah. Yep, boots are coming back on. back there at the stream the blisters on the bottoms of my feet were so bad that I couldn't cross a barefoot so I, I decided to keep my boots on and I slipped and now my boots are completely soaked up on the inside so that's a problem it means that I have to hike pretty slow for the rest of the day or else my blisters are only going to get worse so Mark and Trevor went up ahead and I guess we're just going to meet at our next rest point, but um, we're on the Big Carp River Trail, and we should be getting to Lake Superior probably within the next two hours, I would assume. So it should be easy going hiking, I hope. Always got to take a video of how beautiful this place is.
again, just more beauty of this park. Made it to the last site, back on Lake Superior. And this is the last night. I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna try and make a chair. And hopefully we're going to enjoy our evening. Because tomorrow we got a short hike back to the car and we're getting out of here. But say goodbye to Lake Superior. It's beautiful. Somewhere over there is Canada. Gotta say, I'm loving the lack of mosquitoes around here. Right there. All right, here's the bushcraft chair. Very proud of it. Ooh, let me try it while I'm just sitting here. <laughs> There we go, not bad, huh? Where are you sitting at? Huh? Where are you gonna sit tonight? I'm gonna bust you out of there, that's what I'm gonna do. Mm hmm. Campsite LC14, we're leaving it here in case anybody wants to take advantage of it. Unless you wanna sit on a log. Good one. Hey, there's a loon out there. Keep it. Or chuck it. Chuck it. Oh. The sun's gone down. No, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> 